today this afternoon again just with my leftover paints um, I thought I'd just do a really simple strainer pour this is actually for a drain strainer and I love this strainer um, you can get them easily on eBay so and this, the canvas I'm using is um, a 25 by 30 centimeter studio canvas with a pine frame it's called 280 cotton duck um, I've already prepared the back stretched the canvas and prepared well protected it with some um, tape oopsie I actually saved the card because I use this to do my swipes with I, I like it <laughs> okay let's start pouring Unfortunately, I've run out of pins. I've still got them in a lot of my big paintings. So I'm just going to place, raise that up a bit by using. I save, I don't know if you eat these. <laughs> you can get jelly and little fruit in them. I save all of them. They're so handy, these little cups. So I'm just going to place these under and on the, on the edge so it doesn't make an indentation into the canvas. Okay, and then we're going to place our drain pourer. Hopefully that's about the middle anyway. I know my table's not quite level. So we'll see how this goes. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, as I said, these are all leftover paints, so I'm just going to start using them. This is a, a grey I was using yesterday. You'll be able to see it start to come out around the bottom. I'll bring you down in a moment. The white. Okay, what shall we use next? Um, oh, what have I got? Oh, I've got some leftover green. And some yellow. I have no idea if these paints have got silicon in them or not. I'm just using what's left over instead of wasting. And so far it's looking beautiful. Can you see it coming out here? It's a bit like a sunflower. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, I've got a little bit of mixed up gold and bronze. We'll put that one in. I might just add a bit of something. up a bit. 
because I think I've got the other side too high now. Look at this, doesn't that look beautiful? Right, what do I, oh, orange. I'm trying to put orange in again. It's so good. And this is just the leftovers from <laughs> the kissing pour I did, which is got terracotta and green and yellow. I'm going to add that in as well. Just a little bit of that. And some more yellow. And the last of little bit of the gold gold and bronze mixture that's in the middle here okay let's see what happens oh, doesn't that look spectacular wow 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 see it working its way towards the edges just going to put a sprinkle of green in the center as well because I can. You can see this spreading itself. I'm just letting it do its own thing for a little while here. I might just give it a blast with a blowtorch. I bought this one at a catering company, it's one of those brulee torches. here in Tasmania. It's very handy just at Kings Meadows. They sold it to me even though I'm not a chef. <laughs> oh look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Just added a touch more yellow there. I'm sorry about the shadows. I hope you can see what's happening. It's working its way to the edge. I, I just don't want to stretch it too much at the moment, so I'm just letting it do its own thing. Okay, so now we're, what we're going to do is we're going to lift up, straight up, and let it drip out. There we are. And catch it. Wow. It's a very easy painting to achieve from the tiniest child to an adult, but it's a real feel good one. <laughs> So now what we're going to do now is gently move this paint in. Just move all this out of the way. <laughs> it's okay, so I'm just, just going to gently try and move it round. I would have preferred to have done this on a round. Paint, uh, canvas but unfortunately I haven't got any at the moment I have to go and get some just gently bringing it over to this side here I don't want to lose that centerpiece bring it back I'm gonna bring it back and bring it over to this side Pinch, bring it back. Okay, it wants to go this way now, so I'll let it go this way. I like to go with the painting, it tells me what to do. Okay, now it wants.
wants to go over here. just a little bit more, try and get the weight of the paint to move down the canvas, and move down to this corner here. And bring it back. you think so far. I use that bit of grey but it seems to have settled really in the middle. I suppose that looks more like a sunflower though doesn't it? Sort of gives it that look. I'm very happy with that. I think it looks beautiful. What do you think? Gorgeous. Happy with that. Happy with that. Right I'll just give it another torch. sure there's no air bubbles in there. Well there's a few that just popped. Now the reason that that grey has stayed in the middle actually, just worked it out, is because it was a heavier density than the mixture of the other paints. So what I'm going to do now, just with a little tiny bit of gold bronze I've got left, I'm just going to stick my saute stick in it and just put some dots in the middle, like a sunflower, it has lots of dots, where all the seeds are. There we are, I think that's enough, maybe one or two more, there we go, that's good. What do you think of that? Okay, I'll bring you down now to show you. What I'm going to do now, just with a little tiny bit of gold bronze I've got left, I'm just going to stick my saute stick in it and just put some dots in the middle, like a sunflower. It has lots of dots. Where all the seeds are. There we are. I think that's enough. Maybe one or two more. There we go. That's good. What do you think of that? Okay, I'll bring you down now to show you. You know, first I'll just check the sides to make sure that there's no paint missing anywhere so that I can fix that up. Well, this side's okay. What's that? I need a bit of green. All the sides look lovely, so now I'll, I'll bring you down. Here we are. So I've allowed the paint to come around the side, so with the design, as you can see there, just to give it a beautiful edge, because it was a thicker, thicker edge 
canvas. I thought that would look really attractive. Now that's the whole thing. I'll zoom down a little. the centre. Gosh, that yellow and green look beautiful in it, don't they? Look at that. It's just beautiful. Thrilled to bits with that. Yes, I'm going to call that a sunflower. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please click the like, tick on the like. It just helps to keep me, keeps me on YouTube. Thank you very much. This process now for an hour or so. And look at this. How stunning is this? Look, some cell formation is coming out there. Beautiful. these. Wow. I can see an elephant in there. Oh, I love this painting. What can you see? I can also see a person. I don't know if you can see, but just with some of my leftover paints, I actually do a lot of other artistic things. Um, for example, I love pouring over, I don't know if you can see this, candle holders that are glass with some paint pouring fluid, paint, acrylic paint pouring. And then I'll put some beads and crystals or macrame the handles. And this is how I do it. I, I, I stick the opening, this the main opening here, upside down on top of a bottle. I know it's a bit messy around it, so it's a bit hard to see, but I'll show you when it's cleaned up a bit more. I'll just let it continue to drip for a little while. To show you, here's, here it is, draining down all the different colours. Um, so it's a case of all I do is drip leftover colours over it and just let it go from there. Um, yeah, so I'll just leave that over there for the moment. I'd just like to show you, well there's this one. I've got lots and lots of these that I've made for people. This one hasn't been glossed yet, I've just left it in a natural form. Um, then there's this other water holder which I've I have glossed in the purples in a diamond shape and I've made a little bit of macrame to to hang it with I think this is quite beautiful look at that and I have to do it though with it hanging <laughs> I've got a, a bar hanging above over a window with a drop mat underneath and pour it from above but isn't it just beautiful? Look at that. I've got lots. I'll take some more later. And I thought I'd just show you um, the pebble painting I did, which was a dirty pour with swirls on a diagonal. And then you may remember I painted, um, I painted the pebbles. And this is one I've now glazed with resin. And you can see how beautiful the results is. It's just so gorgeous. I'm thrilled to bits with this. Really made the little pebbles pop. And I've tried to pick up on some of the different colours when I've circled them with black acrylic. That was such fun to do. Anyway, I thought I'd just show you some of those paintings at the moment. Um, before I start my next one. Oh, also, yes. Here's... You may remember I did some paintings on um, bubble wrap. Well, here's, here is one. I had a bit of glaze left over, so I actually 
glaze this one with resin yesterday and they turn out just beautiful you can see how the gold picks up there yeah so there's just a few I'd like to show you at this point thank you